Good morning, fans of the Privateer FX. Monday, almost the end of February. Where are we? We are the 26th. Unbelievable, already end of February. Anyway, uh, we're selling dollars today. Uh, we got this little downward sloping line that we're going to respect uh, and trade around. We're going to start to get long through 50. So we're going to wait here, 25.6 now, in a very slow open here, or sort of pre-open. We're going to get on board up through 50. Uh, we're going to add through uh, what we think is a more important 123.61 level, and see how the short dollar trade goes today. A couple things. Um, Equities have just kind of been solid. Uh, I, I didn't trade Friday, but I saw the moves, and you see S&P's up here at 27.53. So it's just looking pretty solid, pretty risk on. This should aid euro buying, dollar selling. The 10-year, uh, 285 now. So that's come off a little bit. Um, this also should uh, benefit some dollar selling. Anyway, cable, same kind of formation. Uh, it's been a bit stronger than the euro. You could make the argument that somewhere up here through 28 or 30 um, is worth engendering a long position. And then what you will need to do is you just kind of need to leave your stop um, below this. So you were getting in 30, 33, we're leaving a stop 19. 16 maybe 13 and then you see how the hour progresses and you ask yourself the question is 141.38 in the cards doesn't think I don't think 141.38 in the cards today it looks pretty slow but this is the question you're asking are you moving up towards towards this uh, what else is out there euro sterling we sold this on uh, Friday at the open before we left for skiing but Ended up break even with this little bounce here up to 28 over the numbers. Euro sterling looks to me like it's going to head lower. Best to be patient now. You don't want to chase it down here. You may want to sell high ones, but what I'm telling people is wait for this level, 86.90. This is very, very important. Uh, it's 100 points away, so you get time to think about it, ponder it, uh, get it through your head. Um, but once this breaks, you really uh, feel like we're, we could get some momentum down to 83. 86.90, the big long-term bull bear in, in, in uh, Euro sterling. Dollar yen, kind of just lower on the uh, weak dollar trade today. Not a whole lot happening. Um, we were up the figure. Now we've come back down to 50. It's just kind of washing around. No real, uh, no real urgency in the dollar yen trade here. We're we're quietly back in bear zone at 108.90 held after FOMC last week, and now we're right back in the middle 106.50. No trade, no trade in dollar yen. We're just watching for now. What else? Aussie, Kiwi, Canada, moving up again. Uh, don't see any great setups here, so we're just kind of waiting and watching. Really, uh, well, we're in the bottom third of the range here, but this little upward sloping line here could be important. But this 200 day, and even more importantly, this long term trend line are, are some key moments that we'll be watching, but definitely not in play today. Dollar CAD the same. You know, we, we made the year's highs, and after some crappy retail sales numbers, we jammed up there above 126.50, but now we've kind of just sort of, sorry, 127.50. Uh, now we've just kind of slotted back down again, mid-range, quiet. Looks like a patience day now that I've talked about it for a little bit. 
So we're going to try this euro, uh, maybe in a slightly smaller size, um, and get Monday moving with with that on our mind. Cryptos marginally lower. We're sitting here waiting um, with the silly bids. 750, 650, 550, Bitcoin, 8,500, 7,500, 6,500. Same plan. Get your long, sell 80% of it. So your 20% left is long at an amazing average. Uh, and we only do this because we know there's going to be do downside volatility. We know there's going to be fear trade in this. But our long term philosophy on this is Bitcoin is not going to go away. So, once it's all said and done and you have some catastrophic move to 2000 or whatever is going to happen, you want to be able to own it. And in case you miss that dip, which could easily happen because it might go very quickly and it might rip back higher, similar to when uh, Ethereum went to like $1 um, for the day, you want to have your core longs on. So, this is our strategy. We sit tight. Um, couldn't help but notice that Robinhood is now trading uh, cryptos. Good little shop that if you are living in America. Anyway, same strategy on the cryptos. That's it for now. I will see you guys in New York Open. Maybe we'll have some more uh, more action then. Have fun today. Ciao.